I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, a little bit. For my music, I've been doing music uh, for quite a while. I've, I've been on the charts in the Netherlands. That was one of the, the things I did in the past. I'm a um, songwriter. I've written over 400 songs. I did one song that became a beer commercial in South Africa, which was very cool. I had um, written for metal bands, for hip-hop, for soul, funk. This is one of the things that I do as a, as a songwriter. But as a singer, I started I actually started off as a break dancer. I was break dancing, and, and, um, and even if I take a little step back, I actually was recognized by James Brown as a dancer, the real James Brown, the legendary Godfather Soul. And I won a contest, and I got to dance on stage with James Brown as a kid. So I took dancing as a serious type of thing I like to do. Then what I did is I started break dancing with, with kids, you know, from the neighborhood. We started break dancing in contests and things like that. But then I got away from it. I got to sports, and after I got to sports, it got... How long did you make music? Um, now this is 22 years now. Yes, I had um, my first CD was called Here's to You. This was the first CD that I produced and, and um, wrote along with another artist. He's no longer doing music, but I did it myself. This was one of the things that, that caught the interest of BMG, Sony, Warner Brothers at that time. Then I did a single, and I can't even remember the year I did the single. I did another single, and I, I did a single that, that wind up going to the Netherlands. was called Vamos a la Playa. This went into the top 100 at play, uh, play 79. From where did you get your inspiration? <laughs> From my uncle. My uncle, he's actually he was actually signed with Motown. I come out of Michigan, Flint, Michigan, and I was around a lot of the Motown artists. This is where I got my musical influence from. Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson. Um, the dancing is influenced by the Nicholas Brothers, Jack, um, James Brown, and, um, of course, Jackie Wilson. Did you play instruments? Um, I started playing the violin. Then I tried the guitar, then I tried the piano, drums, and keys. Where were you the farthest gig as well? What was the, the, the gig? I, I did the farthest away from here? United States. <laughs> so. What is the message do we have for the future? For children, for me, the message that I have is, is, is unity. When I, when I write songs, actually I write about things that are real, and I try to write messages that make people think. And hopefully, with music, the way music is going now, a lot of young people, they have different, it's a different mentality with younger people. And I'm trying to do music that will ac actually change, integrate my generation with their generation to see that there's some a lot better than gangster or, or things that are negative, if you want to call it that. That's the new single that'll be coming out one more try, and we should have another one. Baby, come on, dance for me. Mm -hmm. So we look to see it in the clubs and wherever. What would my live band as well? Did you like something? Tell what you want for the for the uh, world. Yes, yes. Keep hope alive. Let's keep. Let's get rid of racism. Let's get of get rid of all this violence that we got going on in the world. We all are one. We stay as one. It's one love. Peace. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Times have changed. Yo ho ho mo love songs. Just playing with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So I can say thank you, say you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> right. Be happy with your pocket, put your pussy, watch your hip to lip, not run the scope without the script that'll make you hit your finger dip. <laughs> oh, this is Larry Hawthorne. Booking is at 360 IG www360 IG Peace.